Chapter 11, The Ultimatum. What is this dramatic music to start things off? Oh god, everyone's looting. We have to deliver Sahir's message to Korra immediately. The tone of this is so intense so far. It feels like a finale, which I guess in a way it is because we're getting really close to the end here, unfortunately. I wish season three would be forever. I'm with the Republic City Police, and I need to commandeer this airship to help the Avatar. Nobody cares. <laughs> Right. The Queen's gold's on the third floor of the palace, second door on the right. You just gotta know how to talk to him, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Do you even know where the gold is, bruh? The whole city is falling to pieces. Mako, our family's down there. Oh, yeah. I will not leave. Oh, but I'm so glad my little Bo Lin has come back to visit. That's cute, but Grandma... Grandma, we don't have time <laughs> for tea. Yeah. If you have your family with you, you'll always be at home. I'm not going. Come on. You leave me no choice. There you We're go. Rolling out. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know how to break it to you, but. Last thing say can't catch a break. It's just one thing after another. What a long, terrible history. You almost hit Zuko's dragon. Do you know what a travesty that would have been? <gasps> spirits. There are no spirits in Ba Sing Se, apparently. I guess spirits don't like poverty and sadness. Yes, we'll need your help too, Pabu. Now just give me a second while I. <gasps> Pabu! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I just the clue they caught me off guard. Bolin hugging that big rat. Now he's kissing it. Don't act like you don't kiss your pets, all right? We all do it. Mwah, 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 mwah. That was a lot of kisses, though. Okay, all right, Naga. See, so kisses all around. You're licking my mouth. You like it. You guys are okay. Team Avatar back together. You know who I miss? I miss Tenzin. I haven't seen him in a while. Granted, we got that great episode with him, but I feel like everyone's here except for him. Boomy and the kids are also included in that, of course. Good. You guys aren't dead. Don't get all mushy <laughs> on me, Chief. Nice to see you, too. It's Lord Zuko. I can't believe it. Yes. That is the proper response. See, Bolin is a fan. He appreciates Toph. He appreciates Zuko. Bolin just gained a thousand points in my book. You must be the Avatar. You are even more beautiful than I imagined. Uh, actually, that's Asami. But take our word for it, Grandma. Sami is also very cool. She has a lot of, uh, how can I put this? Batman-esque qualities. You are very muscular for a woman. <laughs> oh, um, no. Thanks. You too? Notice she did not tell her she's beautiful. Grandma's kind of hard to deal with. She's a lovely woman, don't get me wrong, but she's a character. Zaheer is headed to the Northern Air Temple as we speak. <gasps> he said he's going to wipe out the new Air Nation. No! Unless you turn yourself over to him. That was way better than I thought. And by better, I mean worse. I thought it was going to be like, oh, we're going to take over the world, blah, blah, blah. But that's just dirty. I mean, I guess I'm getting my wish. That's not what I had in mind. That is way more deeply personal than I expected. The Earth Queen is one thing because she killed Bosco, but Tenzin and the kids, that's crossing the line. Way over the line. On that note, I really regret not having a moment for Bosco. So I'll just do it right now. Mm. Oh, it's the Bosco bear. Seems to like him. I'll hear what he has to say. Yes, I love that. There he is, Bosco, I missed you. Oh, and Zuko's here too. <laughs> Why don't I focus on the bear first before Zuko? Bosco! They took Earth King Quay. Eh. But did they take Bosco? Bosco's okay, right? Yeah, I do feel bad for Bosco, poor guy. Rar? <laughs> Who would have thought in that first Boss Sing Se episode how much mileage they'd get out of this bear? Bosco, you've been avenged. We'll always remember and love you. Thank you, Bosco. He could be bluffing. He's already taken out the Earth Queen. I don't think he bluffs. That's not just for Korra, that's for us too, right? Letting the audience know that things actually can go wrong. We have a strong signal, but no one's answering. I can't just sit around here while a madman is on his way to the Northern Air Temple. We have to do something. This is interesting, because we haven't seen Tenzin in a while, so we don't know what's going on. I doubt that Zaheer's there already. I mean, it could be. But it's definitely weird. But Zaheer is always meditating into the spirit world. And I know exactly where he goes. I'll watch over her as she meditates. Mako and I will stay here and try to get through to the temple. We'll help Sue ready the airship. I'm going to take a nap. Probably a good idea. There you are. 
Is it Iro? Don't hurt me, yes! Laura. I was just out searching for a new teapot. You always seem to find something you didn't know you were looking for. Zuko and Aang were close friends. I came here looking for someone else, but I'm glad I found you. Is it too much to ask for to get Iro and Zuko advice in the same episode? Is that where this is going? There's that famous saying, when the student's ready, the master appears. I think that's a very real and practical thing, and there's no magic to it. It's just that the information is always around us all the time. Sometimes I think that pretty much everything that humans can uncover has already been uncovered. Maybe not factually, but in terms of life meaning. But we have very limited capacity as people. It takes a lot of space to hold multiple ideas and, and all the different ideas in a way and this may be way too far out there human thought and concept follows a similar pattern the universe does which is building despite atrophy our bodies and minds are limited and information cannot be directly shared it takes a lot of work to pass information on both both sides yet over time it seems like in some ways at least there is a progression of thought and sometimes i think of the universe in the same way it's like you hear that the universe is in a state of entropy yet it still manages to create seemingly endless iterations of more and more complex organisms and society too like society is made up of flesh and blood humans with very short lifespans but yet we've accomplished great things at least in terms of what might be expected from you know hairless monkeys emerging out of the desert or whatever so for the quote when the student is ready the master appears i think the beauty of thinking about it in that way is like it's not luck it's already there you just have to look in the right way or make room for it which is a cool idea and now it's time for Korra to make room for zuko's wisdom i was often ang's counsel and i'd love to be yours that's exactly. just it. Right. You knew Aang better than anyone. The airbenders might have been closest to Aang's heart, but as the Avatar, he was concerned with people of all nations. The world needs its Avatar the most. Your uncle was right. It was helpful talking to you. You spoke with my uncle? Yes, in the spirit world. Time for Zuko to start meditating. I don't need this because we've already gotten pretty near perfection in the last airbender between Zuko and Iroh. But it would be cool just... You know, to see them together again. I wouldn't mind that. I told you it's Bolin! Bolin's not here right now. Can I take a message? No, I'm not looking for Bolin! I am Bolin! Did you know we found a whole herd full of baby bison? No, a whole herd? <laughs> That's cute. Milo, this is your commanding officer. Go get your dad now. Yes, sir. She knows how to talk to him. Drop everything. Leave now. Oh no. He's here. It's too late. No. He's here. All that training is about to come in really handy. I hope. The entire family is here. It's a pleasure to finally meet a true airbending master. It's interesting that they're taking this pacifist route. I mean, I know that's their that's their thing. That's like true to their culture, but it seems like a big gamble. Although there are a lot of them, and we know Tenzin's very powerful. Jinora is very powerful. Kaya also was able to hold her own. So I guess they can afford to wait it out a little bit, not do anything rash. Tenzin's just trying to protect his family and peoples. I will never let you get to Korra. Unfortunately, you don't have a choice. Yes, I do. Ooh. Oh! So much for pacifism. Jinora, get everyone out of here. Bumi, Kaya, help me hold them off. Get him, Tenzin. That's going to be a good match. This is his first time fighting, like, a real airbender. He still hasn't fought Korra yet, come to think of it. Man, this is so cool. Airbender battle. And waterbender battle. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> She's good. She activated her final boss form. Boomy is like the weakest the odd man out here because he just learned how to be an airbender. Then again, Boomy's the wild card. Never count him out. <laughs> there you go. Wild card. Wait, what are you doing? Whatever I can. Get to the bison. Get out of here. He's changed a lot. This is one thing that's always so inspiring to me in shows. Characters who are bad or have negative traits, they can redeem themselves so easily. It just takes a moment for everything to change. With Kai, we see how far he's come. We know his heart is in the right place. Like what he's doing here is really like selfless and out of love. That has such a powerful effect. It like 
doesn't erase, but completely changes the color of anything bad he's ever done. Which is such an inspiring thing. It's like, it's nice to believe in redemption. It's nice to believe that whatever things you've done, you can start to correct it like right now by doing better. That may sound cheesy, but redemption is one of my favorite tropes in shows because I think it's one of the most important. Especially for people like me who like hold on to things for a long time, like guilt. It's good to think like starting today, just doing better. And then each day staying on the path and the farther forward you go, the less your previous wrongdoings matter. Nothing can change the past, but you can choose to use that knowledge and those feelings to do good things like Kai's doing. Nice, go in. He's all right. I saw that air shield. Hi. No. No, he's fine. He's okay, right? No, he's not dead. We're gonna die if we hang on. It's gonna be a good story for Boomy later. I hope. That's not fair. Oh man. Oh, no. It's over. As long as I'm breathing, it's not over. Somebody help him. Whoa. I'm glad Kai's alive, but now I'm worried about Tenzin. <laughs> it's one thing after another. Oh my god, no. Why is it ending there? I'm a little shell shocked by that episode. It was not very nice what they did to Tenzin. I don't appreciate that. We got some great heroes in the show, that's for sure. As long as I'm breathing, it's not over. Next time I'm having trouble, I'm gonna remember what Tenzin said. As long as I'm breathing, it's not over. Man, I think that's my favorite episode of season three so far. I'm like, I'm legit sweating. All right, well, that was an intense episode. <laughs> um, We got two more episodes left. I'm gonna resist the urge to watch the next one now because it's very late. But thank you for watching and I will see you very soon for the beginning of the finale, I guess. Although this is kind of the finale, I don't know.